I am someone who gets inspiration from everything in my life. A lot of the time as a kid, I would go into the cinema and watch a film and when I would come out, I would be those characters. For example, I have a very vivid memory of watching the last Airbender film and yes, we all know that film flopped. But I remember that at the time as a kid watching that, I remember I came out of the cinema and me and my brother were literally pretending to be Airbenders, Waterbenders, all that. We were literally fully going for it. But from that, I've always taken inspiration from things around me and the people I watch, parts of them that I want to add to myself. For example, I feel like my videos are very much inspired by PewDiePie's vlogs and Emma Chamberlain's vlogs and a mixture of other YouTubers as well. Well recently I've been watching Life of Tom. My boyfriend actually introduced him to me. I always knew about him but I just never really watched his stuff. But a couple months ago we started watching his vlogs when he went to Canada and ever since then I've just been watching them and I really enjoy how engaging he is to his audience. Like he always replies to comments when he can and he's just generally really connected to the audience and I enjoy that because I feel like he actually sees his audience and he's not just built this wall where he's completely separate from them and I just really enjoy Tom's way of keeping his audience connected and so I want to kind of add that a little bit more to my videos. I'm a tiny YouTuber that no one has heard of. I've always been someone that no one's heard of <laughs> just throughout my life. I've never been popular but I've never been unpopular. I've always been in that weird middle ground where people recognize my face but they didn't always know my name. When I've made these videos I've never been fake towards you guys and I've never been someone else but I always show you the best version of myself obviously no one wants to see the moments where I'm having a mental breakdown or I'm just having a bad day no one wants to see that but at the same time I just want to be more me and just show you what my life is actually like the only time I film is when I actually go out and do something which is 10% of my life I don't really do much but I just want to include you more on what I do on the daily. So basically what I'm trying to get from this little chat is that from now on in my videos, I just want to get across what's going on in my life and talk a bit more about how I'm feeling. Not because I want to unload anything and treat you as like a therapist almost, but to talk about issues that I'm facing and potentially someone else is facing so that they don't feel as alone. For example, I am currently working but my job ends in August and I haven't got anything planned after that and it's terrifying and I don't really know what to do. I'm thinking about going to uni but at the same time I'm battling within myself because I know it's good for my career because it's basically just like a stamp on like I did this degree and I've done it which I think is a little bit annoying because I know I have the capabilities of going into that without it but at the same time people won't take me seriously if I don't have it so I feel like I have to go to university in order to progress but obviously that's not something I can do until next year because it's a bit late for me to apply this year. I don't know what to do I'm really really stuck and really really stressed because I really don't know I'm just I'm, I'm very, very scared for the future and I just want other people to know if you're feeling the exact same things I'm feeling, that's great because that means there's hundreds of other people that are exactly like us and it's comforting to know that people are also stressed and scared because they don't know what the future holds and that's the whole point of being in your 20s. As you can see, I'm just stress talking and... That's all my journal's for. But currently I'm using you as my journal and I'm sorry for that. So if you're one of the people that actually find my videos somewhat interesting, even if you just use it as like background noise, thanks. Just know you're all appreciated. Even if you're not appreciated by someone in your physical life, just know that I appreciate you. I don't love you yet because love is a very strong emotion, but I like you and I appreciate you, which is a good start. Do you want to go walkies? in here and the cows here are lovely harmless but they get very excited around dogs so I just have to keep an eye out 
because I do not want my dog to be trampled. No cows in the field today, which is good. Doesn't mean I have to run away from excitable cows with my dog in my arm, which can be very awkward at times. for a jungle. This was actually cut like a month ago. Christ, should have brought my machete. my mum created this path as a shortcut back to our house and it definitely needs a trim. <laughs> Try to do a thing here, okay? Just give me a moment. Well, hello. I had plans today that I can no longer do because this is the weather. Windy and rainy, which is not what I planned for at all. So my original plans were to clean my car both inside and out, as well as putting my new wheel covers on. But it's windy and rainy and I don't really want to be working out in the cold and wet, particularly because I'm just not in the mood, okay? So now I... Jesus, I'm white. Okay, so now I don't know what to do with myself. Did I accidentally just leave my dog outside when I opened the door? It's raining, oh my God, wait. Oh my goodness, I'm sorry I left you outside in the rain. Oh, you're wet, lovely. Okay, so now that plans are kind of a bit screwed, I really don't know what to do because when the weather is in Cornwall, there is literally nothing to do. But while I'm thinking of what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna make myself a cup of tea because that's just what us Brits do when we're depressed. What is it you want, Mama? I know exactly what he wants. He wants a treat. Do you want a treat? But I don't know if he's already had one, so I don't want to give him one in case my mum's already given him one because I don't really want my dog to get fat because obesity in pets is really f***ed up. I may have been coerced into giving this dog a treat, but how can you say no to this face? See, little one. Come here. I didn't even tell you to do anything. Why did you do that? That's silly stuff. Lay down, up, pull. So about three months ago, I dyed my hair blonde, but as you can see, my roots are growing in, but the hairdressers that I like to go to are not available until August, which is slightly worrying because the roots are already getting pretty, pretty long. So I'm hoping to go blonder the next time I go to the hairdressers. Because I feel like this this is cute and it was a good like starter, but it's not it's not giving me enough. Like I have this one strand here. I don't know if I can find it. Where is it? There's this one bit here. Look, look how blonde this bit is. It's literally white. That's that's the blonde I want to go. I'm gonna have to wait till August. So probably by then my brown hair will be down to here. That's not a good look, particularly. It is very windy outside. I don't even know if you can hear that, but it's it's brutal out there. I've just realised literally like two days ago we planted our vegetables outside, and I'm pretty sure the wind has already destroyed them all. No, <laughs> we planted some of them in that bed and some of them in those pots. The ones in the pots before they were like. They were like here, up here, and now they've obviously fallen down or been chopped in half by the wind. No! Anyway, I need to drink my tea and forget about all the lovely things in my life, which are currently quite a, a short list of things, but I'm optimistic, you know? I'm a Sagittarius. 
And by me just saying that one phrase, I've probably lost half of the people watching this. But yes, I do believe in zodiacs. To an extent. I'm a Sagittarius, which means I'm optimistic about things that I probably should give up on because it's it's not realistic. But at the same time, why not be hopeful? It just makes when it goes wrong even worse. But it also means that when things go to plan, it feels fabulous. I'm just going to have this cup of tea and just not talk for a while. I'm on a bit of a mission this afternoon. Mission revamp car. Basically, my car hasn't been properly cleaned in a while. Anyway, yes, I need to clean my car, both the interior and the exterior. And I also need to put my wheel covers on because my previous wheel covers, I took my car to the garage because there was something wrong with it. And they returned the car back to me with a missing wheel cover and a broken gearbox. So I'm not going back to that one again. Basically I need to put new wheel covers on so that they're all matching and put them on properly because what actually happened was that I, I got them before and I put them on, they're the right size, I've, they're 14 inches which is like what the size of the wheel is. Put them on and I literally lost two of them within two days. Which is weird because when I put them on they felt sturdy like they felt like they were in and they weren't going to come off and then i don't know i must have hit a bump or a pothole and they both fell off so i lost two of them so basically i complained to the company well they didn't work even though they were the right size and everything like that's just your faulty equipment and they were kind enough to send me another set so this time i'm gonna put them on and properly zip tie them in even though it would kind of ruin the look of them a little bit i just want them to be on because underneath where there is no wheel covers my wheels are getting a little bit rusty and so you know aesthetics and that so mission for this afternoon is hoover and clean the interior of my car then wash the outside of my car and then put wheel covers on and to be honest i'm not really in the mood to do any of them but today is my first day off in like two weeks and it, it needs doing so oh, i'm gonna go do that now but first i need a cup of tea to fuel me because i'm not really in the mood to do it so i need some caffeine in me to get going oh yeah my kitchen is also now yellow I came back from work the other day at 4pm and my mum suddenly decided to paint the kitchen yellow. So now I have yellow kitchen. Right, so we've got the podcast going to kind of keep me entertained while I'm doing this. I'm going to show you the state of the interior of my car because it's not great. is now all lovely and clean. There was like built up grime on the steering wheel that I managed to scrub off. Like I'm just guessing it's a build up of like dirt and stuff, but now I've got a clean wheel, clean everything. So that's the interior done and now I've got to do the outside.
so the exterior is now all clean as well so now i need to do the really really fiddly job of putting my wheel covers on and what i've discovered is that the zip ties that i've got are too short so i'm gonna have to like attach them to each other to make them longer and somehow get them on my wheels Okay, so the car is done. It's clean on both the inside and outside and it's got wheel covers on. I started doing this at 1 p.m. It's now quarter to four. It took me a while to, to do it, but I'm like proper sweating. It's not even that hot, but like I'm just Miss Sweaty Betty. So I'm gonna have a shower now and um, I'll see you soon. Ah.